what you're ready for this man hey guys welcome to another episode of big vapors and in this episode we're going to talk about kanger horizontal coil uh, cardamizers. Now, before we get started, there's probably something you've already noticed. Unfortunately, the audio is out of sync with the video. It seems to be some kind of weird bug in the latest version of iMovie, and I apologize. But uh, this is still a great video, so hopefully my mouth moving slower than the words coming out uh, doesn't tick you off that much. Though, I have to admit, it really ticks me off because it's absolutely annoying. Anyways, we're going to go through the review anyways because I really want to do this. So, horizontal Kanger uh, coil cardamizers or Kanger horizontal coil cardamizers. So, they're not that new. They've been around for at least a year anyways on the market. Um, a lot of vendors carry them. Not all vendors, but they are carried. They are definitely not the most common of cardamizers like the Bogue or Boge, however you want to pronounce those. Um, I, they're new to me because I've only just started using them in the last week or two. I've always been a Bogue user, but in the last few months, I've been really annoyed with the quality of Cardos that I've been getting from Bogue. They just seem to be horrible. I mean, half the boxes I get, there's DOAs all over the place. I'll get like a box of five and maybe two of them actually work. The other three are like DOAs. They burn red right off the bat. I'm having issues with them leaking. I'm having issues um, with them getting burnt really quickly. You know, I fill it once. You know, I get a couple good vapes off of it, and then it just starts to get really burnt and smoky, and I just I can't get it back no matter what I do, no matter how much I clean them or try to fix them or try all the tricks in the book that exist to reviving Cardos don't seem to work. There's just all of these really crappy Bogue Cardos on the market these days. And I know I'm not the only one that feels this way because I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this in the forums and elsewhere online. Uh, there seems to be some issues and it's just, it's really unfortunate. Um, however, it hasn't affected me that much, I guess, other than the money that I'm out of because I've been, if you've been following me on YouTube, then you know that recently I've been really addicted to the uh, Stardust or the Ego uh, Clear Misers, which don't have any of these problems, and I'm super happy with those, um, and uh, get really great taste, flavor, vapor, etc. off that. So, you know, you weigh your options. You go with what you like, you go with what works best for you. But, Kangers, I decided to go ahead and try them. You just don't hear a lot of people talking about them online. Uh, there are some reviews, um, but not many. People don't normally talk about Kanger Cardos uh, often and I think you know like anything um, in this you know vaping world um, you know people's opinions are very personal I know that there are people out there that don't happen to like Kangers but for the majority of people that use them they seem to have nothing but good things to say about them so I went ahead and I purchased a whole bunch so I got my Cardos from uh, Nick Fit Nation a great Canadian vendor from out in BC and I love these guys I've got a few things from them Great company, great prices, great service, and uh, VST or Vaporest Thompson Vapor, who he calls himself in many different places online. He's just a really great guy to, uh, to 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 talk to and to work with, and he's the guy that runs the company. So I went ahead and picked up these uh, Kangers because um, his community, he's got quite an active community on Facebook. Everyone seems to really love them, and uh, he's always talking about how great they are, so I figured I'd give them a shot. And i got to admit, they live up to the hype. They're pretty freaking Awesome. Like I said, I've been using uh, Ego Clearmizers pretty much religiously now for months. Uh, and of course, you know, Addy's dripping. Um, but when it comes to um, Cardos, I kind of stopped and then I decided to try these out. So these are great. Um, for starters, they're, they're horizontal coils, which are really awesome because that means the coil is actually, the coil is actually at the bottom uh, of the Cardomizer. So it's down here and it makes a big difference. Um, they burn a lot better. Um, you get a much warmer vape off of these than you do off the off a of regular uh, Cardos. Uh, in terms of comparing them to Bogues, it's definitely a warmer vape. Um, it's not quite as airy. It's a little tighter, but it's not like tight. It's not hard to pull, but it actually feels a little bit more like what I remember from smoking a cigarette. It's got that same kind of pull to it. Um, they fill. 10 times quicker. Uh, the polyfill in here is a lot loose, is, 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 uh, sorry, is, uh, is a little looser than, uh, than the Bogues, and they seem to just soak up the juice 
a lot quicker. They're still about 1.1 mils, just like a standard Cardo, um, and they don't leak. I've had zero leaking issues with these, and the best part about them is the way you fill up these bad boys. You know, in a regular Cardo, you know, you tip it on an angle, you fill it all the way around. You don't need to do that with these. I put 20 drops straight down. Doesn't matter if it goes through the whole nothing. It doesn't leak. And I've done it sitting on my lava tube. I've done it on an Ego. And no juice comes out the bottom at all. I freaking love these Cardos for that because they're so, so, so easy to fill. So let's just take a quick look. I'm going to put 20 drops in here. I'm going to show you. I don't even pay attention to how I'm doing it. I just drop it in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, let me just stop for a second because I already had some juice in there. So we'll go at 15, but trust me, these bad boys can take up to 20. I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. Would you like to count with me? Um, so, man, it's hard to see that, but it just sucked it up so quickly. And look, nothing is coming out the bottom. My fingers are dry. There's like nothing coming out the bottom of this at all. Um, absolutely absolutely incredible so these things they just suck that juice in so quickly we're going to put this on my lava tube so a lava tube 1.5 t so it's the young june model uh these are about two point no sorry these are one point these are hold on <laughs> these are uh, 1.8 ohms yeah so they're registering at exactly 1.8 ohms on my lava tube Gonna put on my drip tip. You gotta love this drip tip. I call it the Skelly tip. This thing is freaking awesome. Got it from Empire. Love this tip. Okay, so here we are. 4.2 volts, 1.8 ohms, Kanger horizontal coil cartomizer. Filled it up, and I'm just gonna vape right away. Mmm. Mmm. clouds of vapor you get so much vapor off of these I'm gonna do that again to show you but there's an awful lot of vapor really good throat hit really good taste mm. tons of vapor these things produce like a freaking monster I love the amount of vapor that comes off of here and I actually really like the pull on here like I said, it's a little bit tighter. It's not so airy, um, but it's not too tight. I like it. It's like just perfect. The other thing about these two is they don't crackle and pop like regular Cardos do. They're very, you just hear that, that's it. You, you hear the pull sound, but you don't, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm going to, but they don't really crack. It's just a, a nice soft sound. I'm going to do this again. Hmm. Look at that. Wicked. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to um, Nick Fit Nation. They, this is what actually made me want to get these was the review that he did on the Kanger Cardos. And then finally I decided to go ahead and get them. So I'm going to put his... Um, I'm going to put his video in the description as well and a link to where I bought them from Nick Fit Nation. But uh, just like in that video and other videos you've seen, a lot of people compare these Kanger um, HC Cardos to like real smoking. Um, it feels a lot more like having an actual cigarette in terms of the way, in terms of the feel of the pull and the and the throat hit that you get off of these. Um, so if you, and, and, and like um, Vapor mentions in his video, if you stick this on an auto, look at that, no leaking, no juice. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like no juice or, or leaking whatsoever in here. These things are incredible. Um, if you put these on an automatic uh, bat, 510, uh, apparently it feels and tastes just like having a real cigarette. Though to be honest, I don't really care for that anyways anymore, but they vape great on Ego Bats as well. So this is actually an Ego C Twist. I've got it at about 4.2 as well. Mm. Incredible. It just feels so good, and it's so warm. Not hot, but warm. It's a much warmer, warmer vape than um, most Cardos, and especially after using Ego Clear Misers uh, for the last little while, pretty much religiously, it's really a nice change to get that feeling and that sensation. Now we're going to put it on a regular 1100 Ma Ego Bat, so this is 3.7 volts, roughly, right? So it's a, an 1100 Ma, just to show you how it vapes on here. Hmm. 
Look at that. Identical. The same. Crazy. So let's run down, in my opinion, the cons, uh, or sorry, the pros right off the bat. Um, so simple to fill. Just drip it. Like, you don't even need to care how you drip the, the, the juice in there. Just drip it in there, and uh, it's just so easy to fill. Um, they suck up the polyfill soaks up that juice 10 times quicker than on a regular bogue, so you can pretty much fill it and vape it right away. No leaking, which is a huge bonus, and I'll fill this up with it if it's sitting on my lava tube or on an Ego. I don't even take the cardo off. I'll just boop, 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 20 drops. There you go. Fill it up uh, right away. It's a bottom uh, coil, so it's a horizontal bottom coil, which uh, just, ma again, makes for a warmer vape. It heats it up uh, a lot quicker and uh, it produces a ton of vapor. Personally, I think the flavor's a lot stronger. I've heard a few people say that the flavor lacks, but maybe that's because they're not used to such a warm vape, but I personally feel the flavor is definitely there. Great throat hit and a great price. So pretty much those are all the pros. I can't find anything wrong uh, with these Cardos. They come the same way, they come in packs of five, uh, just like regular Cardos do, and they have, you know, the little condoms, um, but you don't need those condoms for filling. I, I mean, I personally don't see any other any other way to have to fill these. That was what really impressed me, was when I saw or heard that you could just drop your juice in and not have to worry that they didn't leak. That was pretty, pretty impressive, I have to admit, because even on the Stardust, which I find the, the easiest of, of systems to fill, um, you still got to turn it on an angle, make sure you don't get it down the hole, etc., I also love the caps that come on here. The caps are a little different. It's kind of hard to see here, but they sit inside um, the Cardo just a bit differently than the Bogues. I'm going to put this cap back on. They come in and out really nicely, and you don't need a paper clip or anything. They actually pop off with your finger. There's like a little rim there, and they just boop, pop right off. So I love those caps. Even though I'm not a cap guy, I'm a drip tip guy, but if you like to use the caps, then there you go. They come in 505, 808. They come in like black, steel, white, transparent. They come in, you know, 1.5, 1 1.8, 1 uh, 2.0, 2.8 ohms, single coil, horizontal um, cardamizers. These things, they just, they just absolutely rock. I'm really loving them. The average life expectancy, pretty much the same, two to three weeks, but I mean, depending on how you clean them and take care of them and maintain them, you know, I've had Cardos last me a month if I take care of them properly, but I'd say after a couple weeks anyways, it's disposable technology, right? You're going to want to get rid of these bad boys, um, but they're great. One last thing, they also come in XL. They have Ego Style XL Cardos, uh, which I believe are like five or six mils. I've heard those are incredible. Haven't tried them yet, and you can get longer ones to stick into your tank systems, whatever kind of tank uh, you might have, DCTs, uh, lava tubes, etc., lava tanks, etc. Whatever kind of tank you might have, you can also get these. And with the fact that it's a bottom coil, okay, they work a lot better inside of a tank system like the DCT or anything like that kind of tank. Um, you're going to have to punch holes in them or dremel a hole in there, but because the coil's at the bottom, the top is almost never going to be wet. It's going to suck that juice in and you're going to get consistent vapes all the time warm, nice flavor, lots of vapor, and great throat hit. So there you go. I spent 13 minutes talking about a cardamizer, and my audio and my video is out of sync. So hopefully I didn't ruin this uh, review for you, but definitely check these out. If you haven't tried them, then try them. If you tried them and you didn't like them, try them again. Maybe you got a bad batch. I don't know, but I personally can't find anything wrong with these. So that's this episode of Big Vapors. Follow me on Twitter, at Digibomb. Uh, check out the website, bigvapors.wordpress.com. I'm going to leave you with one more toot off the Kanger HC Cardo and my Scully Drip Tip. Look at that. I feel like Bob Marley. All right, guys, take it easy, and I'll all see right, you all on the ready for this, man. What